Right, so this is a horizontal bandsaw. Um, we use this to cut um, large stock material. So I'm gonna run you through uh, how to set it up safely, uh, how to make a cut, and then how to clean up uh, safely as well. So uh, over here we have our, our switches right here. Uh, we have a, a cutting, we have a lowering, and then we have an emergency stop. Um, so that's basically the three buttons that you need to use to, to operate this. Um, I'll go ahead and run through a few of the things to do to set it up. Um, so right here we have a, a handle, uh, it's just to lift the, the top part of the bandsaw. So if I lift that up, it's going to go ahead and rest there. Um, there's a hydraulic on the back keeping it in place. So what I can do is uh, use this lowering button to lower uh, the bandsaw, uh, line it up wherever I need to cut my material. And we also have uh, the cutting button, so I can go ahead and push that. Um, you can see it's lowering and cutting at the same time. And then I have my emergency stop right here. So if you need to push that whenever you need to, just go ahead and push it down. Um, to fasten your material, um, so I'm gonna use this uh, rectangular steel to, as an example. Um, so over here, we've got a little clamp. Um, this moves back and forth um, using this handle right here. So this will go back and forth. Um, so this will, this will move back and forth and you're going to want to clamp it on your material. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Um, you want to make sure it's snug up against this plate and then slide this into place like so. And then you can use this knob right here to tighten it up. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that in place. Make sure it's nice and snug. You can go ahead and make sure it, it, it's not going to move around on you. So what I'm going to do is lower it a little bit, make sure I'm looking good right here. Um, and then as you saw, there's a certain rate at which the saw will lower and I can um, change that up here. So the, the dial goes from zero to 10. Um, usually most tube steel, you're going to want to cut around two. Um, slower is better. Um, the faster you go, you might be able, you might burn up the blade. Um, so we want to go slower, make sure it's it's cutting nice and slow, and um, makes a good cut for us. In order to get it the right length that you want, you're going to want to uh, keep this loose so you can move the material back and forth um, like so. It moves freely. Um, and you want the, the saw to be real close to your material so you can line it up with um, wherever you want to cut it. Um, up here we have a, a little ruler. Um, you know, it just has markings on it. So you can use that to you know, measure off whatever length you need to. Um, as soon as you make your mark, just line it up with uh, the blade. So once you get that lined up right where you want it with the blade, you can come back over, tighten it up. Now you should be ready to cut. So like I said before, you want to make sure this is slower rather than faster. So I'm going to make it really slow pace right now. Go ahead and turn it on. Um, you can see the coolant running across the blade. That's to keep the blade cool as you're cutting down. Um, so we're moving nice and slow. Let's just set it even slower. So if it's making any noise on you, um, you probably want to slow it down. Um, um, a little bit of vibration is going to make a little sound anyways, um, so it's not too bad. So like I said before, we're going real slow. Um, if you were cutting plastic or aluminum, you can go a little bit faster. Just wait for this to cut all the way through. So the material will just fall down. You never want to reach in there and grab it uh, before the blade is turned off. 
Um, it usually turns off automatically. If not, you can just use the, the e-stop button to, to stop it. So now I can grab it out. It's, it's stopped, ready to go. Um, you can see it make, made a pretty good clean cut. For cleanup, make sure you uh, take out your material. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up. Whoop. Pull that out. Um, just make sure you put away whatever material you're cutting. Um, uh, you want to keep it in the down position where it's at right now. Um, so you don't, you never want to leave it sitting like this. Uh, it's just bad for the hydraulic, just putting pressure on it. So you can lower it down when you're done. And then go ahead and make sure this uh, e-stop button is pushed in, just in case. That's about it. Um, that's how we use a horizontal bandsaw.